Voice of America has been following two new U.S. representatives to document their challenges and successes during their first year in Congress in our project called Climbing the Hill. Today, we introduce Republican Pete Stauber of the 8th District in Minnesota. VOA's Carolyn Presudi shows us how the former police officer and professional hockey player transitions to politician. Well, if you think of Lake Superior, Lake Superior is, is our heritage. Pete Stauber is in his first year as the U.S. representative from Duluth, Minnesota, a port city on the lake. That's where our recreation happens. I hunt, I fish, I play hockey. Of course, that was a big part of my youth. His Duluth life changed after talking to his wife, Jody. Isn't it crazy? It's been like maybe a little over two years since we started the conversation about running for Congress. So we went to Washington to meet with some members of Congress to see if you know, what it's like and can your marriage survive? Can, can you still be the parents that we want to be serving as a member of Congress? You've got to be starving. Jody Stauber was the first female command chief of Minnesota's 148th Fighter Wing before she retired. It would have been a challenge for me to continue working because we have a son with special needs. She stays home in Minnesota with their four children, which is often the case when men are new to Congress. I know that when my wife and kids are taken care of back home that you don't have to worry as much and you can kind of focus more on the duties that this office will entail. In Superior National Forest. You know what that is, right? During Stauber's campaign, a visit from President Donald Trump helped him flip the reliably Democratic district to Republican. The president promised to overturn mining regulations from the previous administration and restore mineral exploration. For and that solidified Stauber's run as pro-industry. So together, we can unleash the economic engine in northern Minnesota. Jimmy Lovren and Brady Slater work at the Duluth News Tribune. And I think Trump kind of mirrored that with, let's, enough of this regulation, enough of this, this halt, let's do it. It showed all of the Trump supporters that, that Pete was their guy. And it really lent a lot of credibility to Thank his campaign. You. God bless America. The challenge now is to keep the district Republican. Stauber draws from his 23 years experience as a police officer. When you're working the streets and taking calls for service, you have to build that relation and trust with both victims and suspects. And uh, that's, what, that's what I want to do in Congress, build that, the relations and trust, because we all want the same thing. In Washington, Stauber still finds something to remind him of home and of his years with the Detroit Red Wings. Although he was a star player in a congressional charity game, he got caught hooking. I got a penalty. It was a good penalty. That's it. Oh, they scored. 4-3. Despite the penalty, the referees say it was a good showing for the guy who played hockey for the first 30 years of his life. And the congressman says it's those years that give him an edge at the Capitol. Teamwork, hard work, discipline, effort. Your off-ice conduct was just as important as your on-ice conduct. Up next, how Stauber and his Washington team fight to get his first bill passed in Congress. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.